Next week, the full Senate resumes debate on amnesty. Many senators oppose the legislation. Independent Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont says that bill should be defeated outright. I hope very much that in its present form it does not survive. I think it needs a lot more work on it, especially uh, looking at the economic implications of these guest worker programs. Uh, you know, as, as we look at these numbers, they're, they're absolutely startling. Uh, President Bush, you've looked at these numbers just as, uh, as I have. Uh, I, I mean, the president is doing horribly. Uh, he, only Nixon, uh, on the verge of impeachment, had a lower approval rating than George W. Bush, who now has the lowest approval ratings of his presidency. But Congress, 14% approval in the Gallup poll, the lowest in just about 35 years. Uh, is there any sense amongst your colleagues in the Senate, there in Washington, that it is time for people to begin to represent their constituents rather than these special interests, corporate well, you, interests? Well, you got it. And that's exactly the situation. And of course there is concern on at least some of our parts. Uh, the reality is, is that I think a growing number of Americans understand is that what happens in Congress is to a very significant degree dictated by big money interests. And these guys are based, their whole ideology is based on greed. Uh, they are selling out American workers and in fact they're selling out our entire country. And that is a major struggle that we have got to engage in to take back our country from these very powerful and wealthy special interests. Uh, these, these special interests, uh, and you and I have talked about this, it is now so blatant, so overt, uh, that only uh, those who would refuse to see could deny that both the Democratic and Republican parties are owned lock, stock, and bar a barrel by corporate America and uh, special interests, including in the amnesty legislation, socio-ethnic centric interest groups, who really have very little regard for the traditions of this country, the values of this country, uh, or the constituents. Uh, it, is, it is seemingly impossible to awaken uh, our elected officials in Washington to their, to their moral responsibility. There are wonderful people, including yourself. Uh, I, I don't mean to suggest that everyone is in this situation, only the majority, unfortunately, uh, in uh, the Senate and the House. Is well, there any hope that we can change that? Of course there is hope that we can change it. And I think there are a growing number of Americans who understand that there's something wrong. When the middle class in this country continues to shrink despite a huge increase in worker productivity, poverty continues to increase. Since Bush has been president, five million more Americans have slipped into poverty. Six million Americans more have lost their health insurance. and the gap between the rich and everybody else is growing wider. So when President Bush tells you how great the economy is doing, what he is really saying is that the CEOs of large multinationals are doing very, very well. He's kind of ignoring the economic reality of everybody else. And that gets us to the immigration issue. If poverty is increasing and if wages are going down, I don't know why we need millions of people to be coming into this country as guest workers who will work for lower wages than American workers and drive wages down even lower than they are right now. And as we know, the principal industries uh, which uh, hire the bulk of illegal aliens, that is uh, construction, landscaping, uh, the, the, the Lou, I just heard those are all industries in which wages are declining. I right. don't hear that discussed on the Senate well, floor you, by the no. proponents of this amnesty legislation. But that's right. They have no good response. I just read something today that a lot of people coming into this country are coming in as lifeguards. I guess we can't find, <laughs> that's right, we can't find American workers to work as lifeguards. And the H, H-1B program right. has teachers, elementary school teachers. Right. Well, you know. Yeah, and that H-1B program, uh, we've got to watch uh, uh, Senator Ted Kennedy sat there with the sole witness uh, being one Bill Gates, the world's richest man, right. telling him he wanted unlimited H-1B visas. Right. Uh, obviously uninformed as to the fact that uh, uh, seven out of ten visas under the H-1B program go to Indian corporations that are outsourcing those positions to American corporations in this country, and that four out of five of those jobs that are supposed to be high-skilled jobs are actually category one jobs that's right which is low skill well you raise a good point and that this whole immigration guest worker concept is the other side of the trade issue 
On one hand, you have large multinationals trying to shut down plants in America, move to China. And on the other hand, you have the service industry bringing in low-wage workers from abroad. The result is the same. Middle class gets shrunken and wages go down. Senator Bernie Sanders, we thank you for being with us as always. My pleasure.